Describe the effect of potential difference on the photoelectric current. For a given metallic surface C, keeping the intensity I1 and the frequency of incident radiation constant, the effect of potential difference between the plates on the photoelectric current can be studied. Figure shows the variation of photoelectric current with the potential difference V between the two plates. When the positive potential of A is increased, the photoelectric current is also increased. However, if the positive potential is further increased, such that it is large enough to collect all the photoelectrons emitted from the plate C, the photoelectric current reaches a certain maximum value and this current is known as saturation current. If the potential of the plate A is made negative, the photocurrent does not immediately drop to zero but flows in the same direction as for positive potential. This shows that the photoelectrons are emitted from the plate C with finite velocity. If the negative or retarding potential is further increased, the photocurrent decreases and finally becomes zero at a particular value. Thus, the minimum negative, that is, retarding potential, given to the anode for which the photoelectric current becomes zero is called the cutoff or stopping potential. If m is the mass of the photoelectron emitted with the velocity v maximum, then the kinetic energy associated with it is half mv squared maximum. Since at the stopping potential v0, the fastest electron is just prevented from reaching the plate A, the work done in bringing the fastest electron to rest is equal to kinetic energy of the fastest electron. Ev0 is equal to half mv square maximum. The above equation indicates that the stopping potential depends upon the velocity of the fastest electron. The experiment is repeated with the incident radiation of same frequency but of higher intensities I2 and I3. It is found from the graph the saturation currents are proportional to the intensities of the radiation but the stopping potential remains the same for all the intensities. Thus, for a given frequency of incident radiation, the stopping potential is independent of its intensity.